www.newtoboss.com. This is Ty. Uh, what I'm going to be sharing to you today is on how you can configure an Encore Ethernet broadband router, uh, unit number ENRTR 104. Again, Encore ENRTR 104. It's uh, an Ethernet broadband router, simply a wired router. Again, it's not a Wi-Fi, it's just a LAN wired router. Uh, here in the Philippines, you can get a purchase one like these. It's been retailed by CDR King. So if you got one Encore from CDR King with the model number ENRTR-104, it's also going to be the same with configuring that with this tutorial that I'm going to be doing. So what you do first to start off, you... Um, launch your Firefox or any browser that you have. If you're going to take a look at here first, on the lower right hand side, you got your LAN indicator for the internet access. It would say in there that you don't have internet access, but you are actually connected through your um, router. What you have to do, physical connection for that, if you don't know how to physically connect that before this configuration, we have a separate tutorial for that a video that we created. You can always check that one out on our YouTube channel. Again, what you do is you first launch your web browser. Could you be Firefox, um, any browser that you have. You could configure this on any computer as long as you got a browser and a LAN port. You start off by trying a default uh, gateway, 192.168.0.1. This is one of the common gateways, 192.168.0.1, common to D-Link rotors. Enter that, and if it's not going to give you anything, try a different IP, 192.168.1.1. If it's still not giving you anything, and that means that your Encore router has a different IP address. Uh, when you get to purchase that, you would be provided with a default IP. It's either on the box or underneath the router. But it's always dependent on the region that you are in. So just to try that, if you can't pull up any page, it's still going to load it that way. What you do is you, let's bring this down, you run, I mean open run command, Windows R. Windows key and R on your keyboard and type in CMD, enter, and it's going to give you your uh, command prompt. From here, you're going to type IPCONFIG, again, IPconfig, and it's going to say media state media disconnected. But you have to look up for something that says Ethernet adapter. Ethernet. This is your LAN adapter or your LAN port. If it says WLAN adapter, that means you're connected to a Wi-Fi. So you, you have to look up for something that says like this, Ethernet adapter. Then you got uh, IPv4 address, subnet mask, and default gateway. For the address, it's 192.168.10.2. This is the IP of your PC right now, the one that we're using. And 192.168.10.1, that's the gateway. Bring back your Firefox. Remember, what we typed in is 168.1.1. Alright? So here, to compare, you have this different. You got 10.1, not 1.1, or not 0.1. What you do is just make it uh, the same. 192.168.10.1, re-verify. 192.168.10.1, then click on Enter. Then, if it pops in with this page right here, I mean pop-up, uh, it means that you're actually connecting, but it's asking you to authenticate. It's asking you for a username and a password. Common to an Encore broadband router, uh, also with the CDR King brands, I mean CDR King retail Encore router, you can type in admin, A-D-M-I-N, short for administrator, admin, and password. Sometimes you could try blank. If blank wouldn't allow you, Retype admin and try one, uh, one, two, three, four. Again, blank, blank would work. Try admin password one, two, three, four, then click on OK. Then it would log you in 
to the router itself. There you go. So you got something that says broadband router. This is your system interface. So you got wizard system w I'm sorry, WAN, LAN, NAT, firewall, routing, UPnP, all those, and you got log out. So this is the the status that you'll be prompted in. You don't have internet, would say disconnected. Now your gateway to recheck again, this is your LAN, IP address, or your gateway. You got firewall. You could you could have a look at all these things right here. But for now, we're gonna start off with entering um, information so you can get to have an internet connection through this rotor. What you do? Sometimes you can run the wizard. Let me click on that. If you run that, it's gonna help you out straightforward. But uh, sometimes also you're gonna get uh, different errors for that. So what you just do is to just configure that by own. So click on WAN right there. Again, right on top WAN. WAN. Then you got connected type, dynamic IP address, static IP, PPOE. You got those two more at the bottom. Uh, here you will be needing your internet provider for this. Uh, here in the Philippines, if you're with Buy and Tell, PLDT, Smart Pro. Uh, digital sky broadband uh, you could first call them and ask them as to what is the type of your connection they would say uh, common connections here with us with home connections you could either have a dynamic IP in my case I have a dynamic uh, with buying DSL and you also sometimes would have a PPPoE connection alright so with dynamic IP address you don't have to um, get a specific IP with them because it's changing. So what you just have to do if they tell you you're with an IP uh, uh, a dynamic IP, so just select dynamic IP address in there, and then uh, scroll down right at the bottom. Then you can click on OK. Again, if you're just on a dynamic IP, if your provider confirms that. What you just have to do is to click on this dynamic IP then click on OK. It's just going to clone the MAC address of your computer. All right. It's it's going to clone that so it wouldn't bypass the router. It would somehow identify that your router and your machine is somehow one on single bridge. So again, dynamic IP address, click on that, click on OK. Then restart everything. Then when you boot back up, you you'll be getting internet. But if to a point you would have problems that you're not gonna get internet after restarting, after doing that, what you do, you go back here, click on dynamic IP, then click on enabled for Mac cloning. Right? If it doesn't work for the first time, you can clone the Mac address and click on OK. Right? So from there, it should work. If you have a static IP address, uh, static, uh, try to select on that and you can read right here. Uh, static IP is the, the one, I mean, they're, they're going to provide you with a set of IP address. I mean, IP addresses. Uh, they're going to give you that. Probably you've requested for that. It's not very common here in the Philippines that you would have, let me refresh and go back there. Static IP, there you go. Uh, you'd be getting these information from your provider IP address subnet mask and gateway these three you're going to type that in there okay uh, manually input that type in something 192 or 26 something like that anything that they would give you as your static IP address uh, coming to that the reason why you would have a static IP maybe you're you're running a web server maybe you're hosting uh, an internet radio station maybe you're hosting the podcast I mean a live uh, cast or any stream so you don't want your IP to be changed you could always request sometimes it would require you for a little bit of a, of a premium pay for that but if that's the case static IP just type that in there and then click on OK right here be sure to restart everything before checking then it should work from there one more thing, if you, uh, these are only three right here common in the Philippines. If you have PPPoE, which was my old connection before, it would ask you to enter a username and a password. 
Again, it's just a username and a password. Call your provider, ask them, am I under a PPPoE? Yes, you are. So what's my username and password? Then get a pen and paper, write that down, then hang up the call, thank them, then go back here, then type all of those keys. Again, those are only two values, username and password. So username, let's uh, say um, John user 21 or password probably they would give you one two three four uh one two three four service name uh if it would buy and tell it could say buy on dsl or sometimes you could say pldt or what's the other one uh sky broadband or maybe smart bro um if they would give you a specific service name yeah, you could acquire that, but basically you just rename that. That's going to be okay. 1492 is going to be okay for the MTU. Don't change that. And from there, just click on OK right here. Again, username and password. Type that in there. Reconfirm the password and click on OK. So from there, restart everything. And your internet connection should be sourced out from your modem. And it's going to run through the Encore. ENRTR 104 router straight to your computer. Again, it's just a LAN wired connection. Before you do everything like that, I mean, before you configure, I suggest that you watch one of our videos in, I mean, on how you can physically connect everything. Because sometimes they miss out. The reason that they can't pull up an IP address because they miss the connection. They connect things on the LAN port, even though it should be on the WAN. Sometimes it's the other way. So again, for some other video tutorials, you can always check out www.newtoboss.com and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash